right now, guys, we have a kicker light right here on the left. We are shooting at 1 one sixtieth of a second. We're at 2.8 aperture. And this light right here is at 1 16th. This right here, my model is Faison. Faison, where can they find you? Uh, you can find me on Instagram, Muscle Genesis, or you can find me on Facebook, Fates Out to the Odd Model. I've been modeling for around four years, specializing in fashion, fitness, and lifestyle. So check his workout, check my page out, and we would provide you with great content. Thank you. Yes. All right, back to my series. Usa. Series. <laughs> Now, when you're getting those portraits, you want to make sure you fill up the frame because if you leave too much negative space, why are you laughing? <laughs> Try to teach the people something. Because I'm silly. Don't, don't leave too much negative space. You don't want to make the auto look like they're sitting inside of a swimming pool. Just think of it this way. Little person, big swimming pool, looks like a dot. The more you close in, <laughs> the more you fill in the frame, the more engaged the person becomes. Also, when you're shooting males, you want to make sure that you try to shoot from a lower angle because you want to show dominance. Have the model sit their chest up, have the shoulders broad. Make sure that when you're getting the face, serious pose, chin down. More light, more non-serious, more smiley, happy, bubbly, giggly. You shouldn't be using giggly for a man, but chin so <laughs> much All right. That's a perfect thumbnail. So you, you hit a nail on the head, right? And as a male model, that's what I want. I want up bottom of approach because I want to look like 200 and only 170. All right, so, okay. And now, uh, sister, by any chance, would you happen to have some uh, coconut oil? <laughs> no, I actually don't this time. I actually forgot. <laughs> I have baby oil. See, I don't like baby oil because it's too shiny. Like coconut oil gives you a sheen, yeah. but it doesn't make you like drippy I'm wet. I'm not the oily type, but I, I can definitely. <laughs> it's not, not a street thing to do. Hold that. I just want to make sure that's exposed right. Good. You just change your exposure as you go. See, that's the best thing about shooting inside of a studio. Once you nail your exposure, you don't have to change your exposure because the lighting is never going to change. At least Ricky, you don't be like me and forget to press record on your videos. <laughs> Sucks. You know how many times I have, though? I literally want to cry every time. Every time. So this is more of a flirty slash smiley and not as serious. Okay. All right. Now let me see. All right. Another pro tip. Shoot more than you have to shoot and crop in. Learn how to use Lightroom, learn how to use Photoshop, crop in. Get as much information as you could possibly get into that picture. As much information as you could possibly get into the picture, and I messed it up again. But anyway, <laughs> learn how to crop in, all right? Step forward, just one step right there. All right. Ball your hand up just slightly a little more. Close, more close fits, right there. All right, now with male photography, you have to assert your dominance. Everything that you do has to be aggressive. So if you grab your shirt, not grabbing it loosely, you grab it tight. All right, so now taking pictures in rapid succession. That right there will get you a few more poses that you or the model may not have thought about in the beginning. So sometimes you get a little gem out of that. All right, now guys, this is great. But one thing you need to notice, the guy has abs, the guy has muscles. You want to get those <laughs> shadows. Now, usually when you're shooting women, you want to blow out as much as you can. You want to get those curves. You want to make everything nice and soft and neat. With a man, you want everything to be more edgy. So at this point, I'm going to lower my light so I can get more of the abs, more of the chest, make some shadow right there so it can be more defined. So just to clarify, 
just a thing for models, uh, when you are working with a photographer, it's great when they give you that. And if you're a systematic person like me that really works on a quantitative analysis, I'm using a bit word, but quantitative just means numbers or numeric. So can you tell us what light would be good for shadows or edges for a person that's just starting off? All right, so as you're starting off, <laughs> get this light right here. Show it, because, oh my, they acted a fool with this light right here. I love this light. But a thing that people really make mistakes with is they get a light and they want it to be directional. So a lot of people, instead of getting a light like this, they want to go ahead and get a smaller light that you maybe put on top of the camera. You can have it around with you. Now, the issue with that is, it's directional. You want to have as big a spread as you could possibly have. Put this soft box on here to make the light softer. Now, even when you have it at the highest that it could possibly go, me, of course, I, I always keep it pretty high. But when you have it at the highest it could possibly go, because I have this big soft box here, it spreads the light out more evenly. When you have a speed light, maybe, it's going to be more directional. So it's going to be hitting them in one particular place, depending on how close you have it, or you have to reflect it off the ceiling. Then you get into the situation where you might be outside. Mm -hmm. There's no ceiling to reflect it off of. So this right here, make sure that you get you a stationary light that you can use a soft box with and probably keep it around just to start off with 164th of power. Thank you for actually watching our content. Thank you, this gentleman, and you for helping us out. It's, thank um, you. We enjoyed I you really today. I really appreciate it to come out in this weather. It's not an easy job. Ooh, ooh, thank you. Ooh, quitty, yes. quitty. What's your YouTube? Hey, you guys. Okay, so my YouTube channel is Queen Natural Jackson. It is Q U I N A T U R A L Jackson. Like J A C K. Yeah, all that. Okay, so. You messed up now. I need to get this as a vlogging camera because this is perfect for my channel. But that's besides the point. Bye, you guys. Have a great one. I wake up, flex, I'm down, that check. No drip, this wet. Tell them, run it up.